Hold on. Record. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're recording. Oh, lovely. Oh, there's Sarah. I was like, Wait, someone else is here. Why is she coming up as me? I love that your face popped up. <laughs> Did you log in? As she probably logged in as me. You're logged she in. She did. It says Jamie. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Yep. I'm so happy. I would be so happy to look like Sarah Miller. 215. 215. Would you? <laughs> did you bring your berries? Oh, my berries. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was so grossed out. <laughs> it's kind of one of those things you can't avoid. Hi, bud. Yeah. Hi. Hi, handsome. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> That's right, Jamie and hey, Anne and boys. Gina and, oh, and oh, wow. That's actually Dave. <laughs> Dave. Dave and Katya himself. and Christine. Looks just Hi. like Dave. Fabio <laughs> just had a birthday, right? Yeah. yeah, yesterday. That's us. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Say happy Thank birthday. You. All right, you birthday. got to smile again. <laughs> there are smiles. Oh, okay, let's put our quotes on. There are smiles. <laughs> He's not paying attention. <laughs> okay. That's what I smell funny, Katya. What? <laughs> Do you like something smells funny? This is pure chaos. I love it. Okay. The dog. All right, we're recording. So anybody who's watching the replay, sorry for all that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um... Guys, thanks for showing up and getting up with me nice and early. Um, I kind of wanted... Hang on. Jamie, can you mute your side? <laughs> I love that she's logged in as me. Um, okay, ooh, that just got really quiet. All right, so I want to share with you guys an app that I'm in love with. But before we get to that, like I'm really in love with it. I know I get excited about a lot of things. Um, I kind of want to talk about things that are going well and things that are not going so well and just uh, let you guys kind of throw at me where you're at and if you're frustrated or excited or wherever you are in your business because, I mean, let's be honest, it's not been great for the last, I don't know, year, if you guys feel the same way. Um, volume is down. I feel like team morale is down. And I feel like there's a lot that I kind of lost sight of as a leader. And I know that there's a lot that I'm in control of when it comes to my own business, not necessarily with my team, but there are a lot of things that I could do better. Um, I mean, last month we brought virtual events back in. It's been like a year since we've done those together. So I think those are important to kind of bring back in to have something for people to invite their prospects to. Um, and then as far as like my own personal business, I kind of do things and think I could do them better. And I personally love finding things that make my life a little bit easier. And that is where I'm going to share with you what Penny does. Um, I love, let me hear from you guys first before I talk about this whole app thing. Um, is there anything you guys want to throw at me? What you're frustrated about or what you're excited about? But I know we're frustrated about things. I know things could be better. Um, but I first want to commend you guys for showing up because you haven't quit. And I know that maybe in the back of your minds, there's been that thought of, is there something else out there? Is Rodan and Fields the right place for me? Um, am I doing the right things or could I be doing something different? So somebody throw something at me so we can talk about it. Um, I just think that in my case, in what I've been experiencing is all you know, the large amount of people that were ECs are, are given up, right? And we, we kind of knew that that would happen eventually because people that are just ECs are only making so much and, you know, it just kind of fizzles out. And so I think a, a big, a large part of our team sort of fizzled out, like they're gone. And that's made a big dent in our volume. Um, because although they were just ECs, like there was a lot of them. Um, so, and I think that anyone that has had maybe just one or two people under them who then were one of those people that quit are now there. It's like a, it's like a domino effect. It's like now they're like losing steam because they're feeling super discouraged because they worked so hard. They got these one or two people under them. And now they've totally quit and they're back at square one. Um, and then with my personal business, I think um, I've just been experiencing this overall pushback in general 
from, from my PCs, from my team, from anyone that I've been reaching out to. And, and I personally think it's just a result of there being this explosion of MLMs and people being hit left and right. And most of them are not good MLMs and they're, you know, not all wonderful consultants like us. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think that people just have a really bad taste in their mouth. And so people I think are just kind of done right now. Like I think they're just like shutting everyone out. Yeah. Um, so I kind of feel like that's just where I'm at. I think it's, I don't think it's a reflection of our company. I really don't. I, I think that our company's awesome. I think it's solid. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's only going to grow. I think it's a phase, but I think it's just something that we just have to ride out. I know I feel like I have, I feel like I'm just going to have to ride it out until something, something's got to get right. Something's got to change with people and finding new people. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of where I'm at in my opinion. Yeah. I think we're too great of a company to mm. not continue to do well. I think that we are going to lose where I think we're losing people faster than we're gaining them like on our team overall as a company um, with PPG coming in. I think there were some big, changes. I mean, Heidi Wissmiller is no longer with us. They literally cleared out the corporate team. So there's so many changes coming so fast that the consultants can't keep up with that. And then we end up doing almost nothing. Cause we're like, what, we don't know what, which way is up. Um, but I think the people that do hang on are going to be really happy that they did. Um, what else? Christine, Shayna, Sarah. I and agree. So I agree with what both of you are saying. Like I do, I feel like in my heart, we're going out, we're going through like almost like the weeding out phase. Right. So all these thousands of people joined, but like didn't really work their business or were just people that were gonna give up quickly. Unfortunately, it saturated people's social media feeds. And I feel like we need, we're need we weeding those people out, but it's gonna take a while for it to turn around. Again. And I think we just need people to stay, to not lose the faith and, and still see the potential and, and get through this period. Um, I didn't realize, why did all those people leave? Because TPG came. TPG made an investment in our company to make, to help us grow. But I think right. there were some people in corporate that were holding us back from the growth the doctors have been uh, Gotcha. Okay. Like, like Heidi's baby was virtual and virtual was an amazing idea, but right. I personally don't think virtual is that great. Like as right. an onboarding system. And I think that we have a couple broken things within our company when it comes to launching new consultants. And that's why people right. are falling off because they're like, it's different now than it was when we started four years ago. Or right. Ago. And you're right. I, yeah. I, I you know, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, that makes that makes sense to me. Um, I think what it is, we just it's like the people that are gonna stay are the ones that can see the vision and the long term goal of the company and the potential of it. Um so I mean, the same time, I know that we're like losing people, but you also don't want to be dragging people through. So it's like back to recruiting the right people and the right mindset. And really like what I always think in my head, is it just goes back to the basics, right? Like all the consultants that were very successful that didn't have any sort of social media, they were just talking to people. Like that's what it's forcing us to do, which is not a bad thing, but it's, all those people that join thinking like this is going to be easy and quick and all I got to do is throw up a post. Mm -hmm. They're learning like that's not working. So we have to go back to basics. And I think a lot of people can't do that because they're just not confident enough in life. You know what I mean? Like aside from R and F. Stop it. That's not true, Sarah. Yes, you are. You like don't give yourself enough credit. Um, Sarah, I will slap you. <laughs> I mean, so I feel like it's not necessarily a bad thing that we're reading all, all the people that really weren't going to go that far. It's just, it makes it hard when you're not seeing the numbers that you were used to seeing, right? But like, you got to stick it out. So it's like, how do you, how do you share that with people that want to grow and want to work it, you know, just stick with it, just stick with it. And I think we've lost sight of the launch. I think we, and maybe this is just me, I got so stuck on selling the dream when I would enroll somebody. And instead I want to shift that to, I want to go back to like, what could you do with $500 of target money a month? Yeah. Instead, right. uh, do you want to retire your husband? I, I just, that's a huge mindset shift for me. And I think I would be more successful bringing people in 
and setting the right expectations with a couple hundred bucks a month because of the social media and the saturation. And I'm not saying that people can't do it, but I think it's just a little bit harder than it was five years ago, 10 years right. ago. And like we were saying in Anne's thread, like I was saying, like you people, I feel like they get really freaked out about doing a, an in-person launch. But for me, that was so crucial to do that like two weeks after I joined because I was like, oh my God, crap, I'm getting orders. Like I'm placing orders, which translates into cash, yeah. which translates into my first paycheck which was that five so bad at right? making those attainable laugh. goals. Yep. And that's why I'm like, why do people, why are people like so willing to be like, okay, yeah, don't worry about not doing a launch. Like, no, you got to do a launch. Like people need to know you're open for business and you just got to get going. Yep. It's like the whole thing of like, you're waiting and waiting and waiting to start and then you just never do it. So like, I think it's really important to just get back to that as well. As uncomfortable as that can be for people, like you just got to do it. And that comes from us too when we enroll them. Right. Like I can't stand a virtual launch. I, I can't yeah. stand it. Like I'm, I'm like over those. <laughs> well, we're doing another one in May. Well, but, no, but but I know we're, we're doing it for everybody. That's one thing. I'm saying like as like for one person, like instead of in person launch. Like I get it. Some situations you have, to have no choice. Like you don't live in the same state. Like whatever. But for the most part, like I think those need to like not happen. Um, <laughs> totally agree. Sarah, Shana, Ann, anything right. you want to throw at us? And then we're I mean, I, I completely agree. And I think it's, I, I think, you know, you're losing the ECs. And then like Katya said, like you're losing the level ones, you're losing their ECs. So it's like a trickle down effect. I totally agree with that. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm frustrated in the sense that, you know, I told you, like I've been working tractivity or I worked tractivity hard for like a month and got absolutely nowhere. And I was like, yeah. screw this. I am so done. And I have basically stopped. I do like a couple reach outs a day. Cause I'm like, this isn't getting me anywhere. And I was like going crazy, like pushing so hard to find the time or like neglecting other things in my life to like find that time. And then it just kind of like didn't get me anywhere. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to sit on the back burner for a little while. But, um, I was talking to Christine about it the other day and I, I like, I'm to the point where I like almost want to give up, but I don't because yeah, I'm going to have FOMO and yeah. I know that like what's going to be there in the end is going to be good. Um, but I'm just so frustrated with where I'm at now that, um, it's hard to continue to push to be better. Yeah. Again. Yep. And you're not alone. Yeah. Uh so I don't know. I just, I guess I don't know what to do what to do like how to shift or what to do or just like wait it out and then try again in a few months or you know what I mean um it's just kind of like that you feel like hit that hard stop and it's yeah. kind of like now now what do you ever kind of go back and reevaluate why you started or do you are you a personal development kind of person you read books do you listen to podcasts? no you know that I talked about that on the cruise I don't read yeah. books I don't, I don't I don't do that which I mean I should I listen to um I listen to Girl Watch Your Face on tape, and I want to listen to her another, her other one, but I just don't, like, prioritize have the time, I feel like. Yeah, exactly. I don't prioritize, like, sitting down to read a book, because I feel like if I have time to sit down and read a book, then I should be working my business. you got to just sit on your commute to work. I think the shift is, I think it's more important mm -hmm. for you to plug into the personal development than worry about doing your reach outs. Like, mm -hmm. it, that's the whole slow down to speed up mentality like yeah. slow it down get your mind right so when you go to do the work it makes sense and you're actually passionate about what you're doing yeah just like a backwards because I think we do it backwards because we're like I have to get my numbers up I have to get my PSQV I have to sign somebody I have to build my business oh my god my business is failing then you end up doing nothing but you're not feeding your brain with the good stuff right I stopped calling people in the car now and I just have podcasts set to bluetooth like the second I get in so it plays so I'm like forced mm -hmm. to listen to it or in the shower or, I mean, you just, I know you're home with kids and that's crazy, um, but you find little ways to plug it in like headphones or when you're emptying the dishwasher. I don't know. Right. Um, yeah. I but listen I to my commutes to Boston and I know your ride is like an hour, Sarah. So you could have an hour in the morning, an hour at night. Okay. Are you still talking? Are you still talking? Oh. <laughs> I am. Does, I mean, it, I am. does it look like I'm still pumping? I mean, I'm I am. here, so. <laughs> um, um, also, I love that I'm signed in as Jimmy Susie. Yes, I should probably I sign out of your that. account. Because <laughs> your goals, your goals. I want to look like you in my next life. <laughs> I love you. Um, I mean, if someone wants to send me good podcasts to, 
tune into or um same know, books on tape to read or whatever then I'm up for that because I do I just listen to the radio um I listen speaking of podcasts I listened to this one I don't know how I came across her on Instagram and I'm like she's kind of annoying but then I kind of like her I'm a little bit annoyed I'm like I'm a little intrigued so I pull up her podcast and she's talking about how she has people apply to join her team and I'm like yeah. That sounds kind of interesting. She's like, instead of, of telling, like begging people to join, they have to apply. Like, so they feel like it's a, it's a resume and they're interviewing and then they're more, apt, more likely to do something once you select them. Of course, you're going to select anybody who applies, but it's kind of a cool shift. Um, but I like podcasts for that reason. Some of them are terrible. Some of them are good. But if I'm driving anyway, and it's got to pass the time, right, Shana? Right. Yeah. All right, Shayna, Ann, anything else from you guys? I'm just frustrated because I'm not <laughs> um, last year and my mm -hmm. work volume as low as it was is down and I've lost my ECs and yep. no one seems to want to try. Like they started in the beginning of the year, but like they've kind of fallen off. They have stopped responding, all that. So frustrating. The negative reinforcement that I seem to get last year and before yep. is gone. Shayna, same. Your team is frustrated. Yep. They're, you know, they're making just very little in their paychecks and it's not enough to make it worthwhile to actually carve out the time from their families. Totally. That was what I was getting last night. Yep. Um, yep. And like, sell, like you were saying, selling the dream. I feel like I did that a lot early on, like get a Lexus or, you know, retire from your job and people's minds aren't there. And like, they don't, so I need to reshift to like, would a couple hundred dollars, you know, keep you home an extra day of the week or pay for whatever. Your target trip or whatever. Yeah. I think that's a better way to approach things. Yeah. Cause that's more reachable and reasonable. And then people are like, oh, I could sell like five lash boost and go to target or, you know, it's it just seems yeah. more attainable, I guess. Hi, Hi Corey. Corey. Hi. <laughs> He was upstairs and I'm like, I'm, I'm, are you going to Zoom with me or are you going to stay in bed? He's like, I'll get up. I'm like, you're going to Zoom? I'm like, it's, it's Shayna, it's Ann, it's Christine, Sarah, Coffee, like, all my favorite people. I'm like, well, you better say hi. Better say hi. Uh, Thanks for making an appearance. <laughs> Shayna, I totally agree though. Like I to and I, this is why I love doing this and kind of being transparent because I'm feeling it too. And I think sometimes we don't hear from the people that, are at the top because they're like you're like are they being affected by it like we the leaders in the company that all kind of chat like we're all struggling and i'm like guys i can't continue to keep the faith unless we have something coming and it's frustrating and i'm like i i mean guys my paychecks are a lot less too and it's all relative like your volumes are down your paychecks are down you're used to living off a certain amount and that's your lifestyle and then it's a lot less you're like what the hell are we gonna do so i know that i'm somebody that when i get frustrated or overwhelmed i do nothing and when i do nothing i know my business suffers but there are times when i sit down and i talk to my customers or i talk to my team or do something that makes me feel better that makes me want to work harder so i know there are things that i could do including the whole personal development piece but to go back to the basics of working our business and being excited about it again. And so it's kind of like the self-awareness piece. If you're aware of the things that you could do different, maybe it could make some changes. And us as leaders in our organization, if we can keep the faith, so to speak, but focus on maybe one more order or having one like if, if everybody in your organization had one more order throughout the month, like what would that do to your volume? And then what does that do to their excitement level? Do you know what I mean? Like just, just a little bit. And I have, I've loved Tractivity. Those of you who are in the Tractivity group that Jim and I put together, um, we kind of fell apart on the end of that. And I apologize for that. Um, people use Teamsy, this new rapid funnel app that Melissa Darnell has rolled out. Have you guys played with it at all? I know Katya has. A little bit, but not much. Okay, I've downloaded it and I eat, sleep and breathe RNF, not as much as I used to, but I get a little bit overwhelmed with it because there's a lot of information. Now it's amazing if you have a prospect that you need to send something specific to. I think it can be huge for your business. It's $15 a month, awesome. I also think if you are 
and I won't throw any names out, but we know people on our teams that are frustrated and overwhelmed and, and don't want to do something like a rapid funnel app. Um, I know that that's the last thing that they're going to plug into because they're already overwhelmed and kind of turned off from the whole thing anyways, right? I mean, I, I that would be me. Um, so going back to the focusing on one more order and, and being strategic about how we do that, this is why I love the Penny app. So have you guys put it on your computers yet? Mm -hmm. Let me just give you like a quick run through and I want to show you my computer. Mm -hmm. um, David created, he's the husband of an RNF consultant in Canada. She's a level five. And he created this Penny platform. It's not really an app yet, um, but it pulls all your pulse information. And, and the goal is to have conversations with your customers and to pull prospects through, but it is so simple and aesthetically pleasing. Can I show you really quick why I love it? Can I screen share? Yes. Yep. I'll do this. Okay. I'm going to be hopping off in just a few minutes. I got to leave. So I'm going to watch the rest I of the I just want to give an overview of Penny and tell you guys oh, yeah. I love her. Yeah, and I looked at the time. Yeah, no, you're good. And I think if you guys show your teams this, it could be something to get them excited again. And we know when people are excited about things, big things can happen. Um, can you see my screen? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you pull Penny onto your computer, this is what your, your screen looks like. It's pretty. It's like, okay, what do I do? There's some tasks completed up at the top, right? Like, what does all this mean? The second you log in to Penny, like when you initially put it on your computer, um, it pulls your pulse information and it pulls Facebook contacts, okay? When you click on a customer, for example, I'm gonna move you guys. Can you still see my screen without your faces in the way of where I'm clicking? Yep, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So when you click on your customer, it pulls up your customers that are, that are ordering within the next 20 days. So if I click on Jennifer, over here on the right, it tells me her email, her phone number. She's been a customer since May 15th, 2018. She last ordered a year ago. It's 1025 in her time zone. That's three hours ahead of me. Like, that's cool. So when I know when I go to text her what time it is where she is, it tells me the weather. I, really, I mean, she's probably miserable because it's cloudy. Um, <laughs> but I, this, Pulse doesn't even show me this. And this is why I love no. it. She last ordered enhancements, mineral peptides, and redefined multifunction eye cream. I can't see that in Pulse. If I click in activity, uh, it tells me when she ordered. If I click in details and in interests, it tells me these are the things that she's ever ordered. So when I send her a text, I can, uh, here's her phone number, or I can send her a message on Facebook. This links right to Facebook, or I can click the more button. I can merge contacts. If her last name in Facebook is different than what I have in my phone, it merges them for you. Or I can send her a handwritten card. Kind of like, you guys know AM cards? You guys probably have yeah. it. Okay, it's just, it's a personalized card that, I select a thank you card. I type my message here. Thanks for being my customer. A lot of options when it comes to skincare. I appreciate your business. That's usually something I write. You click next. It sends directly to her. So cool. Uh, I, where, I, what did it send to her? Email, text? Her where? home. It sends a card, a hand. It sends an card, actual card. An actual card to her house. So send a handwritten card. I want to send her a thank you card. Thank you. I didn't spell that right. Click next. See her address pops up right here? Because that's what's in Pulse. Click next, and I can place the order and send it directly to her. It. So um, Penny is free. She's Penny, the virtual assistant. Everything that you see here is free except mailing cards. It costs four bucks, postage, card, everything for the convenience of it. Um, another cool thing is when you scroll, when I scroll down, the people right here with the little check mark option, those are people that have ordered recently. So if I click on Angelique, she ordered April 24th. She got the spotless regimen. Tells me the time when she's been a customer since. She ordered four days ago. I can send her a message or send her a text and it checked like, hey, checking in, did you get your order? Right. Then I go over here and I click that I, that I followed up with her. So it just, keeps your tasks in order. Up here, 
like Jennifer, she pops up first on my list. It populates when you're supposed to, and like in order of importance. I can say I messaged her, I can say I've delayed her, or I can say that she's ordered. And she'll continue to update, she's a she, I'm, we're dating. Um, she will continue to update your tasks in order of importance from either when they ordered or when they need to order next. And it's just like the customer care cycle. And David created this app again, because how many times do you go and pulse and make a handwritten note of your upcoming auto ships and hope that they don't ship and hope because you forgot to reach out to them. I mean, that, I don't know if that's just happened to me, um, but it keeps it all organized here. And the other amazing thing, these people, I don't even know because they rolled up to me, but I didn't really pay attention to that because it's no, there's no easy way in pulse. Like when your team, your directs quit or a rollover goes through and they're no longer on in your organization, their customers roll up to you. So last week I sent a message to some girl that was like, Hey, I'm, I'm your skincare consultant now. I'm so happy to take care of you. And she's like, Oh, awesome. Thanks. Like people just want to be appreciated and know that their order counts and know that they have somebody to contact. Um, are you guys following this? Yep. Yes. Okay. These are just, these are just customers. It's just, I got three orders the other day just from sending a message to this girl and saying, Hey, your active hydration showed up X, whatever, however many days ago. And she's like, Oh, Hey, actually I want to order a spot list. Just, just having the conversations is what brings people to order more. So the point of this app and why he created it is not for the leaders in the company. It's not for the people in the, in the top 2%. It's for the 98%. It's for the busy mom of two that, is frustrated with her RNF business because she's working a full-time job and she has two kids and she has an unsupportive husband when it comes to this business. So this app is created for people like her to sit down and have it be mindless for what you need to do for your tasks. Five minutes. This is, this is like the nooks and crannies app. And it's the first one that I found since starting that actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, they also have a prospect tool. I've only been dealing with customers. Um, but I've added in a couple prospects that I want to reach out to um, that are kind of in my hot funnel. But I did this for the purpose of showing you. So Gracie is a hot prospect. You put a little flame next to her and it keeps it like top of your list for when you go to reach out. So at the end of the month when you're like, okay, I'm one consultant away from four miles, you can click on them and have a conversation or do your reach out um, with them. Um, the other thing I wanted did you add, sorry, did you just add them? I added them three, one, two, because I added in all of my whole Facebook, whatever. And I get that big um, running list on the top of all of their pictures. And then you can choose if they're a customer the top there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't done that part yet. Um, Cause that I feel like has been taking up a lot of my time. So I haven't even started working with my customers cause I'm like trying to weed through setting it up. Yeah. This was my struggle with Tractivity. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was, I love Tractivity because it made me be a better human and reaching out to people that I forgot existed. Um, mm -hmm. But I needed something more simple. So I think Shana, have you already done your customers? I would start with your customers and, have, and get used to the flow of it and having the conversations and then go back to your prospects. Okay. Um, when you go to invite people, like any of you guys that don't have this free app yet, um, I can just send you an invite to and, and oh, look, Katya and Christine haven't put it on yet. Mm -mm, call me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I just, I think what I love so much about this is it's something that can help people get one more order and, and get people excited again about working their RNF business because there's so many things out there and, and the company knows that things are broke, broken. Like RNF knows that it's not going the way that it once was and we're not growing at the speed we were and there's so many changes happening. Hence Rapid Funnel, that new app that's come out. Hence Tractivity. I mean, this is this, Penny, I don't want you to feel like, oh my gosh, I have to do this, this other app. But if I were to look at everything out there, I would recommend Penny 10 times over because it's mm -hmm. free and because it's simple. And because I want the 98% of people in our organization that need to find excitement in their business again. Um, so that's kind of my take on it. 
Um, she has mm -hmm. videos. There are three videos on the customer care cycle, how to nurture your prospects and how to work with customers. This guy, David, that mm -hmm. created it, um, just gives you how to walk through. He's also creating a onboarding system for RNF consultants. Um, there's going to, there's going to be scripts in here. There's going to be literally what to do first in your business. And again, like virtuals, RNF virtual was supposed to do that. And maybe it does for some people. I just, I haven't fallen in love with it. You guys have questions about Penny. So is that green truck up there? That's just your customers and your orders? Just customers and orders. Yep. And, and then the prospecting thing is that tool? This tool. Yep. Prospect. Okay. So I can just click. So now it's not all combined. Like I can click on just the green guy and focus oh, yeah. on This is just my RNF customers. Yeah. And I am shocked at how many people rolled up to me that I didn't even know. This girl has been a customer since July 6, 2018. Um, like I, she rolled up to me. I didn't even know she was mine. This is what, look at, she put, placed a huge order of Redefine with the intensive renewing serum. I can't find that in Pulse. Like unless you have their login, you can't even see what they ordered. Oh. Split it? What? You said, did she split it? For two orders? No, probably not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but now that I know she, I found a girl the other day that ordered, what's her, where is she? Um, Tamara something. She put an order in for. There she is. No, nope, no, nope. go back up a little. Nelson, right here. Um, oh, it's not in here. The other day it was. I think she must have changed it. She put an order in just for unblemished wash. And I was like, um, hey, next time you need to place an order, let me know and I'll put it under a bulk order so you don't have to pay shipping. And she's like, oh, I didn't even know. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. And then I'm like, who is it for? She's like, my daughter. I said, oh, you should get her on spotless. She's like, what's spotless? And now she's putting that in her auto ship for next time. Like, so it's just having the conversation with people and educating them and because they don't know, especially if they're a roll up. I don't know if their consultant ever took care of them. Right. And it's just, it's such a clean way of working my business instead of sitting down and having notebooks of writing whose auto ship is coming up next month and stressing about yeah. it. I can then just, and then I can be knowledgeable. Like, Hey, how's your radiant defense that you ordered on April 6th? <laughs> I mean, are you loving it? Is it the right color for you? If, if I have to look and pulse for that information, I never just find it. That's why I love it. Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys and, and get your kind of feel for it. And if you think it's something that your busy team members who are kind of feeling yuck about their business could plug into and maybe change their excitement level. Um, I want to roll it out on Wednesday and then David is going to come on Facebook with me and our group page and talk about why he created it, who he created it for, and then give a quick tutorial and and answer any questions people have but i want to know if you guys are excited about it and again if you love tractivity keep it if you love teamsy keep it if you want rapid funnel perfect i just can't in good conscience go to my team who's struggling with their paychecks and say now you need to pay for an app i love this mm -hmm. because it's free and yeah. it's always going to be free unless there's some like scripts added he said it'll never be more than five bucks a month um, so he's going to talk about why is it free and who we created it for and answer questions. I mean, I think it's genius. I wish I could figure out how to create an app because really, I know. I, think it's, okay. I, know. I, I mean, the, the way that it just like pulls all the information in and it shows you what they've ordered in the past. And that way you can be like, Hey, I totally let you like, I totally dropped the ball on you. Or like you fell off the bandwagon. Like what's up with this product? Like, did you use it? Did you love it? Like I do that all the time. All the time. Like, oh my gosh, I forgot that you used that product. Like, how did you like it? Why haven't you ordered again? You know, that type mm -hmm. of thing. So you can like actually follow up with them again about that. I, I don't know. I really like that. That's exactly why he made it. Like, yeah. how many times does somebody order and you don't reach out to them until 60 days and you're like, hey, you want to order again? It's like, it feels yuck when we do that. Mm -hmm. And right. I've been right. doing it for five years. Yeah. But she sets it. So you reach out 20 days before their order. And then they either order or delay and you mark it right here, set in their status. I can send them a message right here, right to Facebook. That was another, another tip. Um, I can pull her right up. Um, shit, how do I go back? Hold on. 
But that's, I, I just, it, it's so simple. And then they also set a task of reach back out after their order ships. And then three weeks again, so simple. Okay. Um, so just keeping the conversation going like through the month rather than just reaching mm -hmm. out for 60 days. And that's what he talks about here. Um, and his videos are awesome. They're three minutes. Yeah. And I was like, okay, what's the catch? Like I messaged him because I'm like, what's the story? I want to launch this to my team. Are you legit? Like, who are you? So we did a Zoom <laughs> and shared our stories back and forth. And he's like, I am a dad of three, two, four, and six years old. My wife is a level five in Canada. And I was tired of seeing sticky notes. And she had a lot of customers who were passionate about skincare. And I wanted to create something that made her life easier and made her a better mom. And there were people, There's I, I found out about this through Sarah Reinecke, who's another leader in RNF, who was like, can I do for my team? I need something. Same thing that I'm feeling. And she did a Zoom with her team and there were people crying literally on the Zoom. And I'm like, well, that's a little aggressive, but it's so true. Like we just want something that is simple and, mm -hmm. and it's going to make an impact in our business and make us excited. Like, I'm excited now to sit down for five minutes and message five people because this app, of this app. And I feel a little sad I'm breaking up with Tractivity. Like I love Jared and the guy that created it, but it's just not the right fit for what I need for our business and what I want to share with our team. Mm -hmm. And I don't want people to have to pay money for something that, so I also asked him why is it free and, yeah. and what's the catch? And he said he quit his job two years ago to create this app and he um, found investors to give a million dollars towards it. And he's like, it's, it's, it's my passion and it's never, you're never gonna have to pay for it unless they upgrade to something small, but everything you see is free. Everything you what see a great free. supportive husband. Super <laughs> great. And he <laughs> loves his wife and he skis and surfs and like, he's just a normal guy. Mm -hmm. I love, love him. So I'm going to bring him on on Wednesday at 10 a.m. my time, which is 1 o'clock, 10, 11, 12, 1 Eastern time. And it'll be on the Facebook page if you miss it. Okay. Um, but I'm hoping to keep it short and sweet. Just introduce him, ask him, why is it free? Who is it created for? How do you use it? And then be done. But I'm thinking the first of the month, getting people on board. But you guys, are if, if you love this and want to use it and don't have it yet, I'll send you an invite. Or if you have people on your team that you're like, you know what? I'm on the brink of losing them and they're frustrated. I get it. Send it to them. Send it to them to play around with. It's super easy. How do you send it? Um, I was like, David, how do I do it? What, is, what am I doing wrong? Um, this little box down here brings you a chat with him. He responds within minutes. And then how do you share it? If you go to this, by, this little envelope right here, invite. Anybody who's in your contact list, you can invite. Awesome. It's so cool. Woo! I have all of my customers came up on the list. Like I could search them and I could find them, but it didn't seem like they were all on my list. Wait, what do you mean? Like when you go to the truck. Yeah. All your customers? It didn't because I there was maybe like a couple that weren't there, and it also showed past customers who had canceled. Yeah, it does pull up some past customers that have canceled. Um and I've sent some of the messages and just started the conversation because again, this whole business is, is circumstances. So when your circumstances change, like you may be open to something like this. So I would still reach out to those people that have canceled. Yeah. I would have been somebody that used the wrong regimen to start and canceled. And then a year later been like, okay, tell me about this business. Is there a way to add in all of my people that order under my ghost account so I can remember to check oh, in? I'm doing them? something with ghost accounts too. He told me something. I forget what it was. Um, but my ghost accounts pop up here. What was your question though about it? <clears throat> like I have specific customers. There's a bunch of customers that order all the time under my ghost accounts, but they like I don't I can't keep track of the things. There's something. Yeah, he's doing something with that. Because he I was like, we're not supposed to have ghost accounts. He's like, Yeah, okay, everybody does. But if I, can I add in their name, even if they're not an auto ship person, can you add in the so. name? <clears throat> Cause look at, I use it all the time. February. I mean, I've, 
Yeah, these are all. I'm gonna add a note, but it would be hard. Like these are all ghost accounts. He's gonna find a way to separate it though. Okay. <laughs> I just love that it's like last week I was like, oh, there's girl Anne. I'm like, oh, Anne's been a customer since literally the week I started my business and I've never loved on her. So I went in here and I sent her a handwritten card and was like, Anne, you've been my customer since whatever, 2014. I so appreciate you. Um, one thing I suggested to David, and he's like, I want, I love positive feedback, but I want some negative. I want to know what you guys want that's not in here. And I said, I want to be able to send samples. Mm -hmm. with cards and I want to be able to send like a five dollar Starbucks gift card or something with the card as an actual thank you cards are great but cards only go so far and people like things yep. um, like if I can really appreciate you with a with a coffee that would be huge for me to just send from this app but I would love for you guys to play with it and then like when we launch this on Wednesday have an idea or, or be able to answer questions and talk and be excited about it um, there also is the rapid funnel thing call on Monday now, and it's launching Thursday. I just saw Melissa Darnell post something about it. Now I think rapid funnel is going to be great. I think it's going to be so great for the people that are not overwhelmed already or kind of have a foot out the door. Just my take on it. Mm -hmm. Um, to see how this works with prospects because it looks like it works really well with orders and customers. Yeah. And I think it does with prospects too when they're like hot in your funnel. I'm going to add mine in. Um, I just have two of them in there right now, but I have more. Um, Shannon, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm hiding in my car from the kids. <laughs> That's perfect. Shannon, um, when we started this, we're going to pop off in a few minutes, guys. But Shannon, do you have anything that you're frustrated about or want to share? I know you missed everyone else talking about how frustrated they are. But is there anything you want to share with us? Uh, no, I, it's me. I'm just not doing the work that I should be doing. So I have no excuses. I just have to get back back into do you, doing it. Do you feel like you're not doing the work because you're just, you kind of lost that excitement about it? I feel like I put like a hundred percent in for a year and I didn't see the results that I was hoping to see. So I feel like then I let things lapse a little bit and now I feel like I'm starting over. Okay. That's totally normal for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Do you like the thought of this app, Shannon? I love it. Yes. I'm a hot mess right now. So anything to help organize me and that's what I mean. Yeah, I love you're it. a busy mom and, and a yeah. wife and you have a lot going on in your life that when you sit down, it's almost overwhelming. You're like, what do I do? We've yeah. Been doing this for a long time now, but we get stuck with what do we do next? Yeah. But I'm very excited about this. Awesome. I just sent you the invite. So you'll have it on your phone. You just have to log in. Um, and it's not an app yet. And Google Chrome is going to be best for you. Okay, perfect. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, anything else before we pop off? I love you guys. <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> and if you guys have ideas, like we're going to do another virtual on May 8th. If you want to be part of that virtual, do the exact same way that Alessia did it last month. If you're like, I want to be the person that does that, she's scared shitless and I need to step out of my comfort zone, let me know you're invited. Um, if you have ideas for the team or you want another Zoom or you want to have a one-on-one -on -one or whatever it is, I'm here for you guys and I love you and I want to build a better culture and be present. Katya, did you just dry your hair? Seriously? You look gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening. I was getting you missed Corey to saying hi too, Katya. We have to leave for soccer. <laughs> I love it. Well, we're, we're done, anyways. We're done. Any other closing thoughts from anyone? I feel I'm like that one last thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry, um, sorry, sorry, Dan. Those little incentives that used to happen all the time over like all of the teams. I mean, even if it's just a five dollar <laughs> Starbucks gift card. Honestly, I feel like it made my team and me work harder. Okay. I love doing that. I huh? I love, in full transparency, I heard some little rumors that people were like, oh, Jamie put another incentive up that she's never going to mail out. <laughs> I got too many of, 
nobody's grateful for it and it's coming out of my pocket and I'm just not going to do it anymore. That's so I like funny. hearing that you like it. <laughs> We're recording, so I'm not going to say who it was. Um, but I did. I felt like, oh, well, that feels crappy. And yeah, of course, it's yeah. one person, you guys. It's one person. And we have a team of 600. Like, I think you can let that affect you for the people that love it. But we'll go back to doing it. Awesome. Love it. Love you guys. Love you. Back. Love you one, more pic one more picture. Love you guys. Hair is done. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me get out of my closet. Get in the good lighting. All right, hold on. Everybody smile. Okay. Love it. It's going on social media. Okay. I'll see you guys on Wednesday for our um, Zoom with David. You're going to love it. All right. Bye, girls. Bye, guys. Bye.